in the EMM, Instituto Nacional de Migración, here in Playa de Carmen, and we are waiting to renew our visa. for us to get our visa we go back to the last episode of the Mexico mainland and this was in Sierra de Organos from Sierra de Organos we went to a beautiful Pueblo Magico named Sombrerete then in this video you can enjoy with us our journey to get our visa right now here in Mexico and the last time that we are traveling in Sombrerete enjoy hi guys so today we are here uh, on the way to Playa de Carmen, give you a little update to the INM uh, because our visa now due to Corona COVID-19 in 2020, that's when you watch this video, um, we couldn't leave the country, we cannot go down south to Guatemala is closed, Belize is closed and the United States are closed, so we thought we'd just get an extension of our visa, um, so that's what we're gonna do now. Are you hot? I see you now wet. We are refugees. <laughs> we have to get the paper to stay a little bit longer. Yes. New visa required. And we are parked out there and we can only park five minutes, so we will see what happens. We are waiting to renew our visa. So we heard it's possible, but maybe not. So we will yeah. record that just to have proof. Okay. But there is no information of the government saying that if you can or not renew your visa. It's really like bad. Because soon we will be without a visa and we cannot renew and they don't give them any solution. But we have this video that we were here, we tried our best. Exactly. So that's it for me. Yeah. <laughs> see you when we see you. Bye bye. And Visa. We are finally back here after I think two weeks. We try again to renew the visa and they gave us all the paperwork that we need to do. I'm doing right now. They gave us the amount to pay to renew to and it's pretty cool. I think For we will have six months more. 575 pesos, pesos per person. Per person, yeah. This and is a you get like 30 bucks or 20 or something. And you get Six months more. Six months more, yeah, for humanitarian causes because we cannot fly back home and we cannot go anywhere out of Mexico. So, Viva Mexico! So, since we are waiting here, we give you an update too. We are waiting now again for the to pay the visa. So, Mexico was so nice to kind to give us another six months. Yep. Um, <laughs> Isabella was doing all the paperwork or internet. It's really simple. I just repeat now a little. You drive here to the INM, right? Yes. Wherever you are, this is Quintana Roo. Yep. Uh, as a foreigner, you go up there, you ask for the restrictions. They say, well, because of coronavirus, uh, there's a humanitarian reason. reason. Mm -hmm. So you need to write a little letter that yeah. you're here. Uh, mm -hmm. Why you're stuck here? Because you can't go home. We explained our yeah. situation. You cannot drive outside of the country in our case. Exactly. And uh, 
that's basically and then you pay for the visa we are waiting all to pay and then you can get again your six six months without problem <laughs> so the whole thing with waiting in front of a bank that was closed this morning it only opens at 10 yeah. it's about a two hour thing and you're officially in the country so mexico yeah. has everything under control it's all good yes so, and also i don't know if you guys could see that fabian feel much better exactly <laughs> and i think i really had got rid of this bacteria because yep. now my powers come back i gained a little weight but anyways uh -huh. i'm gonna get it back <laughs> low so. second time here or third time actually and now we pick up today we only pick up the visa and we are out of here nice extension there it is after two months <laughs> trying to get a new visa we finally got we did three visits to the enm but we finally managed and we have again six months to stay in mexico Margarita, muchas gracias. Ahora iremos a visitar tu bonita ciudad. And I will show you guys a little everything that she explained us now in Spanish. I don't know what that is, but it's like German kirche. I love it. <laughs> Cinco pesos. This is the brujitas that you needed to try here in Sombrerete. Look how nice it's the little restaurant. It's difficult to find, but we managed. How really many years? cool. They are 85, 85, 85 years of tradition. And it's the five, fifth generation of the family. Nice, gracias. Mm. This is delicious. It's a kind of a taco, but maybe with a thicker layer of some kind of dough. That is really good. And they have like beef. And Pavan will try also the potato with cheese and the frijoles and the beans. And one like this is 8 pesos, which is 40 cents. Nice. <laughs> really good. special from here, artisanal, and it's a mix of tutti frutti, mix of fruits, and yeah, let's see if it's good. Hmm. There it is, look Fabian. Mm. And? I love it, muy rico. Muy rico? <laughs> like that. And I can eat the plate yes. too. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is 
Rompope. Rompope. And this is made with eggs and milk. Eierlikör. Eggnog. Could be. I don't know it if is. I try eggnog. It, it is. is. Ah, eggnog. <laughs> this was cool. We just came out of the uh, monja. How is Nam? Again. Yeah, kloster. I don't know in English either. Yeah, and she's she gave us to try those boñuelos. Father loved it, and then we bought them. And she gave also a little present, uh, a key hanger. I don't know. Which I find Look. right here. Yeah, it's beautiful. Really nice, sweet. That we are safe on the road. See, Monka Clara. <laughs> Thank you a lot. Algo más que se me haya pasado. ¿Por qué el nombre sombrerete? Sombrerete porque este cerro que está hacia acá, el espectacular no lo tapa. Sí. El cerro que está hacia acá parece un sombrero. Ah. Tiene la forma de sombrero, al menos eso le vieron los españoles, sí. por eso le ponen sombrerete. sombrerete. Okay. <laughs> Gracias. This was our nice experience in this Pueblo Mágico Sombrerete. Pueblo Mágico is here in Mexico. Um, that when the government put money in some of the villages to make it nicer for the tourism.